This baby woke up at 5.30 a.m. and we held him off on the uh, boppy and the play thing for about an hour. And it's time to go out. Let's go, let's go. All you ladies out there, watch out. This one's a playboy. Gotta go out every second. Can't stay still in the house for more than a couple hours. Look at him. That's his face. But mama, mama. The guilty face. It makes you feel guilty and you just gotta just, okay baby, okay, we're gonna go. Look at him, look at that. <laughs> How can you say no to that face? Okay baby. We're going. And the bumpier the better, this guy. Going in for a ride. Crazy ride. Catching the sunrise. That's a sight to see. It's been a long time. We always catch the sunset. This guy. Look at his face. Playboy. That's, it looks like it's nice, but it's not. Honey, oh. Here we are at Groundwork Coffee. Gonna chill here. Baby is out. 10 minute stroll. That's all he needed. Got myself an iced chai, spice latte, and orange juice. And Brian got the soy matcha latte. He got to it before I could film. So yeah, it's a rude awakening. We're the only people here. <laughs> And to start off the day, we have an egg sandwich with arugula salad. So, um, this baby is making us really broke and on a coffee high every single day. <sighs> we just woke baby up to go get some dinner. We don't want him to sleep all day here at Newport Seafood. Lunch special, we have rice and um, soup right here. Basil clam. I love, love this. The sauce is so good. And we have bean sprouts stir fry with garlic. Yum. Okay, we got the walnut shrimp, but I got the um, sauce on the side. In case um, we take it to go, we can just keep it crispy. And last, we have the fish filet basil sauce. So everything is lunch um, uh, size except for this one. This is a la carte and this one. Bad. Back home and there's a filming going on right in front of our place. A club scene. They're blocking the roads. I wonder what movie it is. We'll find out in theaters or on Netflix. <laughs> Lego. We are back out because baby got real fussy. Look at that. Bicycle uh, party going on. Huh? And they're still filming upstairs or up there. And I got myself a fruit. I'm eating a lot today. And um, chicken pesto uh, sandwich, half size. And we got a matcha, rising sun, matcha latte, and a granita. Spanish latte, granita. It's like a milkshake. Currently pumping for baby before I go. Um, tomorrow I'm heading to Fort Lauderdale, so I want to make enough milk for him so that Brian can feed him while I'm gone. Baby is knocked out right now. Finally! Here it is. I pumped 40 good ounces for baby for the weekend. He should finish all of it. <sighs> okay, so today I ate a lot more than I was supposed to. <laughs> Mainly because um, I feel like my milk supply is going down. I don't eat as much, so um, milk is not as flowing as fast. So when I eat, um, more milk comes out. So today I ate a lot, like a lot. And so I was able to make a lot of milk for baby. Um, I tend to eat lesser when I travel because I don't want to, you know, deal with the hassle of pumping on the plane and, you know, I might dump it because it depends on um, the situation, if the um, 
ice is still cold, still frozen, and if I have a place for me to store it. Like, I know that I could put it in the refrigerator, but um, sometimes the hotel refrigerators are not as cold. So, it's, you know, you never know if the milk is being protected and, you know, still good. So, um, it really depends on the situation. Last week, I was able to keep my milk because my friend had a... I stayed at my friend's house and she had a freezer, so that was pretty easy. But um, every single week when I go to shows, the refrigerator is not cold enough and ice pack kind of like melts. So I'm not confident with the milk supply being saved. So I tend to eat a lot more to make more milk and then um, kind of shave it off during the week when I'm at shows to get into my costume because I'm kind of chub chub. Anyways, um, I know I still have a lot of milk in the freezer, but I feel like if I can give him fresher milk, then that would be better because, <laughs> because, uh, I, I don't know, something about fresh to me is just always going to be frozen. So if I cannot make any more milk, then we will go to frozen. But if I can, for now, then I will give him the fresh, the freshest of my batches, you know? So, um, yeah, I ate a lot today. I woke up at 105.6 pounds and ending off the night with 110 pounds. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a little bit overweight for my size. I can feel it in my belly. But, um, you know, it's for baby's um, milk, so it's okay. And also, um, some of you guys were saying, like, you know, maybe I should cut off on the caffeine and spicy food because baby's spitting up. And um, I don't think it's the issue, the caffeine or the spicy food, because um, when we give him formula, he spits up too. So... There's nothing in formula that's caffeinated or spicy food. So it's the same amount of spit ups and um Yeah, so we don't really know what it is. Maybe it's just him being young and he has to just grow out of it. Um I did some research and they say that um caffeine doesn't really get into the milk supply unless you're drinking like ten cups of coffee a day and I'm not even doing that I'm doing probably one two max and um, it's not even an actual cup of coffee because it's mixed with like um, milk and you know syrup and stuff like that like dirty chais and stuff like that so it's not completely all coffee and I'm allowed to have um, about 300 milligrams of milk of coffee so that's safe and it doesn't really go through the um, milk to baby so we're pretty much safe on that and also the rule applies to alcohol the same thing is that caffeinated um, stuff like caffeine coffee would be in your system peak at after two hours so if you're doing like a lot of coffee you wait two hours and then it should be gone but if I'm doing just one cup of coffee to two a day then it's pretty much safe and even if I wasn't doing um, breast milk the formula he spits up but the good news is that um, he's getting better like he didn't um, spit up much today it just kind of had like flow spits so it just kind of falls out of his mouth and Every day is getting better. When he first, you know, in the beginning stages, it was really bad. And so um, we were freaking out, but now every single day it just gets better and better. So I guess it's just him not de fully developed. And, um, you know, yeah. I do listen to your advices and um, feedbacks, so it's really helpful. And I always want to try to give my son the best, so make sure that I am not um, giving him anything that I shouldn't be. So, yeah. <sighs> but I should cut 
off the coffee because I feel like even though it's not, you know, contributing to the baby's spit up, I feel like my acne and the dairy products is giving me all this like either it's dairy or it's it's just hormonal post pregnancy because my skin is toe up. I was looking at my past vlogs and I was like, damn, my skin was nice. And at the time I thought it was bad. But now, this is bad. And like, I just keep attacking my face, thinking there's something in there, but it just won't come out. I mean, it will come out if I really go ham, but. <laughs> Didn't have to deal with this for a couple weeks and since I'm older now it doesn't heal as well as it used to be so <sighs> everyone says pregnancy gives you the glow and stuff but I have not seen no glow <laughs> I just get more hideous and <laughs> gross looking by the day anyways um, I'm not gonna touch my face because tomorrow I do have a show so I want to make sure everything's in check and um, good to go you know I can't be showing up all <laughs> toe up hot mess express okay so um we're going to uh, call it a night I just finished packing for my show tomorrow it's in Fort Lauderdale so if you guys are in the area please come out and support um, it's been a long time since I've been to Florida so uh, hopefully I'll put on a good show for you guys tomorrow and um, Brian while I'm gone, he better, number one, feed the baby all my milk because I worked hard. I ate a lot of food, more than I could, my fair share, for the baby's milk. And he better mm -hmm. finish it, okay? So I have about 40 ounces in the refrigerator for the baby. And baby's usually taking about 30 to 32 ounces a day. But I gave him extra in case um, it goes on to the next day. Because I won't be back until Monday. And so it's going to be more than 24 hours. So he'll have extra milk in case. And Brian's very wasteful with milk. He doesn't like pour out a certain portion for the baby. He just takes the whole 5 ounces or 6 ounces and then gives it to baby. But baby's only supposed to take 4 ounces max per feeding so once he takes it out he leaves it out and the baby the milk goes bad so it's very wasteful anyways um i have to calculate that into my milk supply and uh have enough for baby um also second secondly brian messed up this whole place look it's so messy like he just tow it up all on counters everywhere and it better be clean by the time I get back you hear me like, oh my god I'm I'm I don't know if I'm like yes, you are. maybe I am but I think my pet peeves like I have a lot of them but it's starting to be cleanliness and people who are messy and like throw their stuff around and just like I don't know not clean bothers me a lot and the older I get the more you know I am about the whole cleanliness I feel like I might be even a little bit OCD about it and Brian's like oh you know men a lot of people out there are that's how they live, okay? They don't do their dishes right, right away after they eat. They don't, like, put their clothes away after they take it off from um, a long day of work. Um, they don't put their cups away. They don't put their, they don't do their laundry. I don't know. I, I just feel like, why? This guy. I'm asking you, because you do it too. He's got like 10 cups of coffee laying around everywhere and it annoys the heck out of me. And so maybe I gotta take a step back and realize, okay, people are messy, but should I accept it? I guess I'll accept it if it's not in my territory. 
if it's in my territory, then I have to say something. So, you are in my territory, you need to be clean. But if it's someone who's like, you know, I'm not close to, or I don't really live with, then if they're messy, that's, that's their problem, <laughs> okay? But lately, it's just been really annoying to see people be messy. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna call a night before I start rambling on other things that really bother me. <sighs> Alright, um, see you guys tomorrow, 12 a.m. Almost in the a.m. Good night, guys. Good night, Brian. Good night. Please be clean. As usual. I'm gonna teach my baby to be the cleanest baby ever.